Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Fishing Planet. And I am back doing this episode basically by request. I have a viewer that asked if I would take a look at the Ruby Snapper. It just so happens that one of the maintenance adventures has you going after them. I've already managed to catch one, and part of the same mission also requires you to catch the Jope Fish. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Um... So we're going to see if we can't get them. These are apparently bottom dwellers, both of them. So I have not caught the Joe fish yet. But according to this, they live on the ocean floor near rocky reefs at depths from 300 to 1300 feet. So yeah, these are really deep. And there's a certain way to make this work, guys, because uh, only your rods are only going to go down so far unless you make them go down further. At least that's been my experience. Anyway, let's go ahead and jump in here and see if we can't get to this location. Now, I'm going to go ahead and jump in and see where I am. I believe it was probably where I left off with the Mahi Mahi. Yep, it is right here where we left off with those guys. Looks like they might be actually back. I don't know. <laughs> There's actually a mixture of things, but judging from the wind direction, we are in the wrong wrong location altogether. We have to we have to be in north the northwest corner of the the map to find the mahi mahi now. All right, let's go ahead and see if we can't quick jump back because the ruby snappers are actually over here. That pops up like that. And this navigation boy that I'm hovering over, I don't think you can see my mouse, is the one we can jump to in fast travel. It's not very far from there. It seems like these guys are easier to catch at night also. So I'm probably going to advance time. Looks like we have a lot of surface fish here. I think I'm going to go ahead and advance time a little bit. We've got a lot of tuna around here. Let's take a look at the map here. We've got a little ways to go. All right, yep. Look at them. All over the place. Definitely a deep, deep water fishing spot. All right. Well, let's go ahead and see what we can do about reaching a better peak here. We'll go ahead and over time to 11 p.m. Looks like that's the start of a peak at night time. Then we'll get back down on deck here. Now, I only have one rod that can really... Well, actually, I might have two, but the thing is, when I was here last, there was also tuna, and the, rod, the other rod that I have cannot pull a tuna in. I just isn't going to do it. Now, I, these guys, they seem to go for a lot of things, but it seemed like I had the most luck with the uh, large fish strips. And the saltwater curve hook, 8 aught seems to work just fine. I did have a bigger sinker on there. I got a 13.1 third ounce sinker on this. That takes it down a little bit faster. We need to throw this out. Okay, 
It will take a while to get to the bottom. But it's only about 300 feet, maybe a little bit more, at this location. We can help it along. Make it get down there just a little faster by reverse reeling it. All right, we're almost to the bottom. I think if I remember right, it was around 350 feet right here. Of course, it, depths may vary based on where you are on the map, but... I don't think this one's quite as deep. We'll stop right about 350, 351, something like that. Oh, might be a good idea to put a little tension on there. <laughs> okay. Now we got that set. I want to go back and take a look at the sonar. I don't see any surface fish. So I'm pretty sure that Doing any surface fishing isn't going to do a whole lot of good. We may be out too far for squid. Unsnagged, really? Yeah, shoot. Okay. Yeah, it's rocky down there. Yeah, let's take it off the bottom just a little bit. There we go. Yeah, if you get a snag, you're not catching anything. Now, let me take a look. I want to put my float rod here. Yeah, everything I've got here is a bit on the big side except for this. Now, what do the squid go for? Because I think I might just give it a try out here. The only thing I d have not caught yet is a unique one, so probably the gold shrimp. No, they go for finger mullets too. Well, let's just toss it out there. You never know. Might be able to get a squid. All right, I got a little bit of a nibble here just a minute ago. Uh, he's definitely out on it. It's... Okay, this is not a ruby snapper. Pretty sure. If it is, it's a big one. Eh, we probably got us a tuna. Dang on it. Yep. Or a marlin. Gotten them out here too. That deep as well. Anything that pulls on it that easily. Yeah, the ruby snappers, they come up pretty, just without any effort at all, really. This is fighting. It's going to take us a while to get him up. He so far seems to be given. I wouldn't count on it for too long. He's going to realize he's caught here in a second. Yep, there he goes. I'm thinking this is more tuna-like. Yeah, even though they direct you to a spot in the um, missions, doesn't mean you're going to get what they're pointing you to every time. You little bugger. He is going to take it out. He's going to take it back out to 300 there. Yes. Yeah, Definitely not a ruby snapper. 
several moments later. You got him. I knew it was a marlin. I knew it. I, I don't know how I knew it. I just knew it. <laughs> what the heck is he doing down there 350 feet? I'm not going to a gift horse in the mouth 35,199 cash and it's always good we'll keep him yeah I might go let's take it down to medium <laughs> medium fish strips maybe we'll be more likely to get the smaller species there Right, let's throw this over this direction. Maybe a new spot. We're still going into the peak, so we could still get one of these guys. I wish there was a way that I could get another bottom sea rod. There's just no way I can afford one. I don't even think I have access to get one, honestly. Let me see here. Yeah, I think you can go to the shop. Yeah, saltwater bottom casting rods. Yeah, 1370 bait coins. <laughs> There's no way. Holy crap. This one's 1650 bait coins. And you still... Well, it's... It's unlockable, at least. Say, I have this one. I would love to at least get this one, but and these others don't even unlock until you at least reach level 85. Then you can buy with cash. Now, I have enough cash. Good God, that one goes up 203 pounds. It's got to be level 90. That's ridiculous. Uh, guys, I was just messing around. No joke, just messing around. With this pilker on the rod I usually use to tow, I took it down to the bottom and just was raising it up and down, and something bit. Something bit. I didn't even know you could use these like this. I think I might have me a ruby snapper this way. This might be better than the bottom fishing method. Because at least this will single them out because they only go for pilkers. I was like, pilkers? There's only one way to do it. I have to drop it down there and just bob it up and down. And it worked. There it is. Holy crap. It worked. There's our ruby snapper. I'll be darned. Let me take a look at this fellow. That, I have not seen anything about that. That is like me just messing around, honest to God. And it worked perfectly. See, they're only around 22 pounds. They're not real huge fish. But pound for pound, they're worth a lot of XP, from what I understand. Now, he's not as big as the first one I caught. But I am going to still get a picture of him. Alright, we'll keep him. That's... It still says one of three. I bet you anything you have to catch it with a bottom rod, though. You know, I bet you that's the case. Let me see here. Where's the missions? Yep. Equip bottom rod with saltwater bait, so it does not count for the mission. But you can catch them. Uh-oh, we've got one on number two. Now well, we did. Apparently he got off. Well, that was, that was certainly a learning experience.
pretty darn cool, honestly, if you ask me. Well, so far, nothing has been biting off of this. I don't know what the deal is. I mean, I'm able to get one just perfectly fine. I wonder if maybe I can attract them this way. <laughs> At this point, anything's worthwhile. Well, I'll tell you one thing. Let's do this. Let's take this big old sinker off of here. I mean, I know it's going to make it sink faster, but it could be big enough that it's scaring the darn thing. Let's try one a little bit smaller. Might put like a 7 ounce or something, or a 6 ounce. We have some cannonball sinkers. And I might go down in hook size, too. So I've got... Put a seven captain hook on there. Keep the bait we have. What size sinkers do we have here? We've got seven ounce. We've got these cannonball sinkers. Let's go with the six ounce. This is half the size of the one. The one we've got is pretty big and we've not these aren't really that big a fish. In fact, I might even go down to a five and a half ounce. Let's throw this one out and see if that doesn't do any better. Because when I caught the one, the one that I did catch that counted, I was using like a, I think it was this eight ounce saltwater one. So. Go ahead and take that out. I am going to still do the pilking because that's kind of fun. All right, we're finally getting a bite. Took a while. And let's see what we have. Yeah, I did change the bait to the Japanese flying squid just to mix it up a little bit. But I think we might... <laughs> I think again we might have something that's a little bit bigger than what we're after. It's not coming in quite as easily as it should. Only I'm not sure if these guys are usually easier to catch at night or in the daytime. Only doesn't really matter all that much. This one is, it is coming in, but not as easily as it should. It's definitely giving me a bit of a fight. I don't think it's a marlin, though, this time. Yeah, it's not giving me near the fight the marlin gave me. But it is giving me one. Could be to tuna. I've been getting a lot of tuna down deep recently, too. There we go. He's doing it again. All right. We're getting him. Oh, got a little bit of lag there. Yeah, I don't think this is a marlin, that's for sure, but it is definitely bigger than your average ruby snapper. See what he is. 
a trophy big ad tuna. I knew it was a tuna. Just by how hard it was fighting. 25,938 cash, 176 pounds. That's not bad. Not a bad fish at all. Not what we're after. <laughs> but it's not a bad fish. Yeah, it could have been the bait <laughs> that I'm using. Hard to say. Yeah, these guys, they go for a variety of things, but so do these other species. See, we've not caught a trophy or a unique one yet. I was trying the Japanese flying squid. Usually the fish strips are easier to use, but I'll tell you. Crab. Might try crab. Well, honestly, none of those other spe I don't think the tuna go for that, and I don't think the marlin do either. Let me see here. Let's see. Crab? No? I don't see crab on their list of things to go for. How about Marlin? Nope. Everything they have everything but the crab. Actually they didn't have the large fish strips either, but they still went for that, so might try this. Maybe that'll single them out. I don't know. Yeah, I threw another float rod out there. Well, some bit on it. Almost instantly, as I was lowering it. This might be what we're after. And if it is, I'm going to be using some crab from now on. Because I can't come up with one thing that's going to go for that other than the ruby snapper. Not at that depth. Yeah, I was... I hadn't even got it down to 300 feet yet. Yeah, see how easy they are to reel in? It's Albacore. What the heck? New personal record, Albacore. I was sure. <laughs> so we had a ruby snap. Well, let's take a look at him. This is only my second one. The last one I caught, I caught off screen. So we got ruby snapper and Albacore now. Not a bad one. Let me go ahead and get a picture of him, too. That's some good eating right there. They look a lot like the big guy, except they... Oh, I haven't really seen him side by side, but the big guy definitely has a much larger eye. And they're much larger. 6,153. 6, yeah, that... That was interesting. <laughs> like some new things happen every time we come out here. It's weird. So apparently Albacore go for crab. Yeah, I'm going to try one more shot at this. See if we can't get it down deep enough to where the ruby snapper are. If we get another albacore, it's not a bad thing. But if we get one, I'd love to get a unique one. Never had one bite as I was letting the line out, though. Okay, we got something on our second rod here. Not sure what we got. Whatever it is, it went for these finger mullets. Small hook, so it shouldn't be a big, big fish. Let's see here.
Yeah, I was wondering what the world's been swimming around out here. Keep getting bites, but I've not been able to pull them in. What is going on here? This thing's changing its mind here. It's going to go ahead and take it out. This is probably when we get a ruby snapper on the other one. Sometimes doing this does help bringing it in. Count it in a little bit. We got it. Another albacore. So that's what's swimming around on the surface. 42 pounder. Yeah, this rod can handle that just fine. We'll keep him too. Yeah, we are not having any luck with these ruby snappers. We just got the one off the filker. Bottom rod just does not seem to be attracting them. We're getting everything but. All right, guys, we haven't been getting any bite. Well, actually, that's not true. We do have a bite right here. <laughs> as soon as I say something, it makes a liar out of me. Yeah, I'm thinking we're mostly getting albacore, guys, and I think it's what we got here, too. Yeah, the ruby snappers have just not been biting much. They bit on that pilker one time, but the bottom rod, not at all. I did get one off the bottom rod the f off screen when I came here. I'm thinking about maybe going ahead and getting the job fish first. Let's see what this one is, and we'll call this an episode. We'll either go after the joke fish or we'll come back here in the daytime see if that doesn't change things <laughs> yep we definitely have albacore out here lots of them that's good to know Add away for looking for them in the future. Well, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. We did get at least one. <laughs> Didn't get it the standard way. Anyway, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. And I'll see you later. Bye-bye.